Hey guys, it's Jimmy. <laughs> I'm Cass. This is my little Greek sorority fraternity fam. <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about insecurity and relationships, but first, uh, so I'm an intern with You Matter, and You Matter is an outreach program of the Counseling and Wellness Center located in Student Services Center 430. We do same-day appointments where you call at 8 a.m. and try to get an appointment throughout the day. Also, we do crisis walk-ins where if you need to see somebody right away, then they will see you. And in addition, we do appointments that are like two weeks away. So you can call, make an appointment, two weeks in schedule, then you show up, and then you're good to go. That's about you matter. So today we're going to be talking about insecurity and relationships and how that can impact relationships, your future relationships, and also your mental health and anxiety. So, what do you think the definition of insecurity is, if you had one? I would just say thinking that, like always worrying about something um, about yourself and taking that to heart and like having it affect your life and other people's lives. Yeah, pretty much. Insecurity is defined as the uncertainty or anxiety about oneself or lack of confidence. So lack of confidence is huge in this. I know that I've definitely been there in relationships where I'm like, oh, like, I don't feel like I look good enough, or like, I feel like I don't compare to you, like, I feel like I'm, like, way uglier than you are, and that's not always true. Like, have you ever felt this? Like, oh, like, yeah, hundred percent. Like, I definitely used to be the girl that felt like I wasn't, like, like you said, like, up to par with my boyfriend, and so every other girl that would talk to him, like, would freak me out, mm -hmm. like, just make me, like, just normal friendships would freak me out, because, like, I didn't feel like... Not that I deserved to be with him, but my own, like, self kind of got in the way of, like, being comfortable and happy for a while. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And it's really hard to get over that. Like, it's yeah. still sometimes, like, I'll see one thing and I'll freak out about it. Like, it, it just sucks sometimes, but, yeah. yeah, it's just something that you have to overcome with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I felt the need to make this video just because I feel like our generation today struggles with insecurity, particularly because of social media, like the prevalence of it in our society. So I found an article on Psych Central, and they discuss social media and insecurity in relationships as we're discussing as well. So they say that perhaps insecurities are deeply rooted, so it can be past baggage, so from like past relationships, but also it could be like a problem within yourself, so you always like face this problem. I don't know, it could be like some sort of attachment, uh, lack of attachment that you have with your parents when you're really young that sparked this sort of insecurity within any other relationship. So, but it could also be from like a lack of trust, so you're not trusting your partner, and if like that's the case, then I feel like the most important thing is like have a conversation, be like, hey, I don't trust you for this reason, and it's important for communication. Num communication is number one in my book. I don't yeah, know about definitely. you. That's definitely one of my things. But I don't know. Like people, insecurity tends to lead. Like for instance, me. Like I have so much anxiety when I feel so insecure. Like I can't focus on my task at hand. Yeah. I can't study. I can't like sleep. I can't like do anything, and it's really hard. They quote: "Social media is now a breeding ground for distrust in relationships." Um, so for instance, like you have like Instagram. And I don't know, you're feeling kind of snoopy, so you're like, oh, I'm gonna go check my, my partner's followers. Yeah. And then or you're who like, liked who, what? Yeah. who liked what? And then you kind of assume that it's like a flirting thing or like whatever. And I don't know about you. I've done yeah, this no. Before. And the way Instagram works is like your most searched people, you'll always see everything that mm -hmm. they do. Mm -hmm. So no matter what, like so and so liked this person's picture, like it'll pop up like my boyfriend liked this beautiful girl's picture, and like they're friends, they're good. But like in my head, I'm like, ah. like it, I don't know. It's just so frustrating because yeah. like. There's truly no reason not to trust this person, but in my head, I do it myself and yeah. make myself unhappy. What are ways, like, if you've seen that, for instance, like, what are ways you've gone about it? Like, did you talk to him? Or oh, no. I, I, I mean, okay, I just try to, I mean, I get pissed about it, and then I just kind of try to push it under the rug, because thinking about it, my argument, you liked this girl's photo, okay, yeah, I like yeah. guys' photos, like, that's the thing, like, yeah. there's certain things that spark up in my head that I try so hard to just not talk about because it's not a fair argument like like I said there's no reason not to trust him so I just kind of have to not be as you as, know like, as intense yeah. yeah there's been times where I've done this and I literally will like be like what who is this person like and it just creates an argument that's not yeah. needed because it's out of their control if someone follows them or exactly. likes a picture it's out of their control so uh one of the things and it's just a normal like a normal friendship thing like that allow like it's yeah not, yeah it, it doesn't mean what you think it means basically yeah so like I said so like if that like leads to an argument that just causes like a lot of toxic like yeah. um, can cause like a lot of like 
like mental health concerns like anxiety or like like the argument leads to like a breakup can lead to depression like you like once you start to like miss class or like all that stuff like it gets in the way of like your everyday schedule and that can be like really harmful to your mental health so one term that i found that was really interesting was a soft breakup so like what do you think a soft breakup means if you could guess um, I don't know. No, I don't know. Okay, Sorry. so this article quotes it as like when you're broken up with somebody, but you still are oh, following still them on them? social media. Oh, okay. Like it's, you're still followers, you're still friends on Snapchat. So it's like they're not out of your life completely. Yeah. But like, and they that's still... really hard too because mm -hmm. if you break up with someone, like seeing all of their posts. Like, like I said, even if it's like them with a friend, you're like, who is this? Like, you know, it just gets really complicated after a breakup. Like, still seeing stuff, but then it's hard because like. It comes off as an angry thing to unfollow someone, even if it's for your mental health. Like, yeah. if seeing this person truly hurts you and you need to stop, but it comes off as like, oh, they unfollowed me, they hate me. They, like, it comes off as such an angry thing. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. So, with the soft breakup comes like a lot of anxiety and like um, just, um, uneasiness with the new partner in the relationship because they're constantly asking themselves like, why are they talking to their ex or why am I not good enough or, and then that's when all this insecurity like gets rooted in. So, like we said, social media is really prevalent in our society, yeah. and I use it, it all the time, a lot. and it can complicate things all the time, and that's why I feel like our generation is just so, like, distrusting with, like, not even relationships, with friendships, yeah. with anybody that we meet, so there, that could just be, like, a huge thing. So, is there a resolution to this type of insecurity, the, argu the article asks? And open and honest communication within the relationship is always a plus, they say, so yes. Communication is key. Like, I will literally have conversations about anything that's on my mind. Cause like, I've learned that throughout, especially in college, because my first relationship, I was with him for about two and a half years, and I was super insecure about a lot of things that weren't there. Yeah. A lot of the things that I was like wrong about, like I definitely felt really like like a waste of energy was just like on that. So it's just important to know like your self worth and know that like are feeling insecure about something you should talk about it and if it doesn't get better then you shouldn't be with that person yeah because and, yeah. your partner has no way of knowing like if something's bugging you or if you feel a certain way about something and unless you tell them and you it could lead to a bunch of tension in the relationship that they have no idea why mm -hmm. exactly so now there are some so one question so there's a bunch of like questions that i found so these are five frequently asked questions on Elite Daily. So one is, is my insecurity about my partner or myself? So like we said, is it distrust with your partner or is it just within yourself? So are you second guessing everything you do? Are you second guessing like like your looks, your personality? Like do you feel like it's like a match? So like I said, communication is key. This one is really big. Am I comparing my relationship to other relationships? So on That's social media, with, yeah, I was just about to social say, media, social media, every yeah. couple looks perfect, and every yeah. couple is always going to Disneyland and going on trips, and this is not, and so yeah. it's so easy to be like, why aren't we this happy? Yeah, when truly, you never know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and social media definitely perpetuates like this, like need to, like, kind of like compare to other relationships because, because no one's gonna post like just fought with my boyfriend, like love him yeah, so much. Yeah, I know, like, no one does you know, that. Like, and like you know, I don't know, it my, just makes it really hard. Is my partner doing something that I'd like them to change? Um, that's really a question that, like, you should, like, it, it depends, it's like, I don't know, so, it's really, like, within your relationship, so, are they, you know, talking to other people, or, like, saying things that are just, like, like, oh, he or she's so hot, like, in front of you, like, checking out other people, that can be, like, really, like, hurtful, oh, yeah, and, like, yeah. that would be, make me feel really, like, sad, and, like, second-guess, like, my looks, for sure, but, I don't know, so that's definitely within your own self. Do I need space and perspective? So... If you <laughs> are feeling insecure, my advice that I or that I've learned is to definitely like take time for yourself and just like focus on like school or work or anything like that because when you kind of just are in your own bubble like doing nothing and just constantly worrying about it, then your anxiety builds up and this can lead to just like you know, depending on how serious your anxiety is, anxiety attacks or like you can just become like super like depressed in the moment you won't want to leave your room but like not want to be with your friends so it's definitely important to like take a step back and like really put it all into perspective what your relationship is and what you want it to be so but definitely coming to college like it's hard because <laughs> all these people want to hook up with each other oh, and, yeah. like, and people don't respect other people's relationships like mm -hmm. and most likely what you're getting mad at is most likely what you're also doing or in or like encountering exactly. too that's, that's the hard thing that i need to remember i, like, I go out too and i know that i can 
responsible and I know that I can say, like, I have a boyfriend and I am. Like I said, he's doing the same thing, but when I'm sitting in my room while he's out drinking, I just, you know, my brain just yeah. does me dirty, honestly. Yeah. The whole point of this um, was to say, like, I don't know, trust yourself, trust your partner. If you don't find it trustful or like trustworthy, then you shouldn't be in the relationship or you should have a conversation about yeah, it. Definitely because, yeah, anxiety, I get so much anxiety when like I don't talk about what like is making me like really upset and I can't just like sweep things under the rug and not that type of person. So communication is key. Another thing too is it's important to talk to your friends. Like if something's mm -hmm. bugging you in your relationship to get an outside perspective. Because half the time like I'll talk to my friends and they'll say, Cass, you're being too much. Like, shouldn't be mad about this and so that helps rather than like me just going to my boyfriend and getting mad at him like my friends are able to tell me like you need to tone it down like this is yeah. something you need to be mad about so that helps a lot yeah definitely definitely talk to your friends and like vent to them don't vent to your partner unless it's absolutely yep. needed don't use you statements like you didn't text her like you did this like or like say that i feel hurt because yeah this is how i'm feeling because you statements can cause like a lot like they can make them feel attacked blaming, yeah. blaming. but also i just thought of one so i've learned in the past like when someone doesn't respond to you within like three hours don't freak out or like assume the absolute worst because it's not yeah they can just almost be really busy is. or like Sometimes, like, people don't like to look at their phones, which yeah. is, like, unheard of in this No, exactly. Society. If someone doesn't text you back right away, like, it's automatic to freak out, but that's... Yeah, but honestly, but yeah. There are certain people that just aren't that way, or mm -hmm. they're doing homework, or they're at the gym, you know. Like, yeah. It's just so hard to automatically think the worst, but... Yeah. But it's definitely important to just know that social media shouldn't, like, ruin, like, a relationship or should not... Have a negative. Yeah, like insecurity. Start fights. Yeah, insecurity can look really bad, and insecurity can ultimately push that partner away. And once it happens, then it's like breaking up, and then you'll get sad and anxious and really upset, and that's not always the best. So, just the point is to just like trust yourself, trust your partner, love yourself. Yeah, I mean, that's hard to yeah, do. I'm still trying. I'm still trying to. It's hard, but. It's definitely important, and it'll, like, make, like, relationships, like, even better. So much healthier. So much healthier. And honestly, just, like, I don't know, build your self-esteem. Yeah. Don't, like, compare yourself to anybody else. So, like, one question that I found that was, like, really, like, annoying that, first of all, I would never ask, and I hope my, like, partner would never ask, is, is he or she better looking than me? Like, I'm sorry, there's gonna be people that are way better looking than you in this yeah. society, like, you could be like the most gorgeous person in the whole world, but there's gonna be somebody else that's like way better looking. Mm -hmm. Looks aren't everything. It's more personality based for yeah. me. Mm -hmm. I mean, looks are good too, but right, it helps. But it <laughs> helps. But you just like, have to remind yourself that there's a reason that your partner is into you, and there's a reason that they are dating you and love you. And if it's at that point, but mm -hmm. you know, it you have to go beyond looks and just remember that you're together for a reason. And the whole moral of the story and the reason I created this video is because a lot of I feel like college students struggle with this, especially because social media, like I said, and it's such a big and the campus. Dating environment and the hookup environment in college so makes it very days. hard to date mm -hmm. because there's just so much going on, and then you don't know if people are would rather be with you or hook up. Yeah, with and like especially if like you like come or, like like come into contact or like come across like or casually run into somebody that yeah. they've like been with in the past like I know that can be uncomfortable but just know that that was in the past exactly today's today and that you shouldn't worry about that so the point is that trust yourself don't be like constantly like worrying about what's like what the unknown is just like kind of embrace like what the unknown is like with your partner like I don't know just like enjoy every moment of it because clearly they're with you for a reason so that was our video on insecurity and relationships, so definitely try to avoid those and try to like communicate with your partner more. And there's a lot of helpful tips online mm -hmm. for helping with insecurity and self-love and relationship. But yeah, this is definitely really big, but yeah. So, I'm Jimmy, and this is Cass, and... Thanks for listening. Yeah, thanks for listening. <laughs>